guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Parallel World Pharmacy. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't like where this is going. Oh shit, I really don't like where this is going. I'm scared. That's the last thing he's going to see before he dies or something. What the? Oh! Hmm. Your past is coming to haunt you. Bruno, you are having a nightmare. You know, this is could this could be a sign that he's coming back and he's maybe coming back for your sign. Don't open that. <laughs> oh
Mm. And you feel like someone's going to bring it over and make everyone sick. Damn. Did the light just go well? Damn. And one by one. Mm. They had to burn them. Jesus. That's crazy. One, your fingers are rotting and dying in front of you, and then slowly but surely you're dying as well. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, you could save it until he's not a minor anymore. I mean, you know, but that's up to her.
Right. Because somebody will bring it over and then it's just going to play popcorn with everyone. Excuse me. Please be careful with that. What is it though? The cancer? Well, no, we've talked about cancer. Then what the fuck is it? Like, see, they say the medical term. I need the non-non-medical term. You gonna make me pause the damn episode just to look up what it is? Ah. Of course. But my thing is, can he make enough in time for everyone so that it doesn't affect the whole like country or nation?
In a way, yeah. You want to protect yourself. So pretty. Mm -hmm. I still have a bad feeling about this. My thing is, you think that what they would do also as well. Okay, so let, let's compare this to COVID in a way. Um, or any type of illness where someone has brought it in from one place to the other. Um, immediately, shouldn't they be seeking something once they come in? Like saying, hey, let me check you. Make a rundown. Make sure you're perfect. You're fine. And such before coming in. Yeah, that's basically it. Safety measures. You're trying to make sure that everyone is okay. Like a perfect 10 out of 10. And if not, then yes, you give them the necessary needs for them to feel better. And then they're able to be, you know, walking around in your nation. There goes my dog. <laughs> Cody! Cody! It'll do fine. It's gonna be okay.
Of course. Of course, that's how we're ending this week. Of course, that's how we're ending this week. Like, oh, this was good. But then at the same time, like, really the stakes of this, it's, it's up there. And I'm scared because anything could happen, you know, one wrong move and a whole nation could be destroyed and wiped out just like that because of an illness and such. It's the same thing that we're still going in with COVID and any other disease that'll come um, in our future and such. We're dealing with so many things that, yeah, it's really hard to have, like, a normal moment in a day I mean like for me when I'm at work because I touch things and I am around people I, I do freak out and such like it, it it's fucked up like really it, it's so weird for me to like touch somebody's stuff and then I'm like I gotta put hand sanitizer on me there there was a point in time where like my mom wanted me to wear gloves to avoid everything because I don't have insurance and stuff and I need insurance to cover me just in case I do get sick that's why I try to um wear my mask as best as I can because you what let me tell you something when it start getting cold again and it is coming a girl gonna wear her mask a girl don't give a fuck you know whether it's the common cold whatever I'm not getting sick He's the reason of the black pe uh, plague, of course. No. Oh. Holy shit. Sir, how are you still alive with the fact is your face? Your face. How are you still alive, bruh? How are you still alive? Um, yeah, I explain that one, sir, because I don't understand that, but you know, okay, anime. Bruh, this, this is about to be, this is giving me hella vibes to Wandering Witch. Oh my god, like this next episode is about to be super, super dark. Like, maybe, you know, we might get some really explicit kind of dark S scenes. Um, similar to that certain episode of Wandering Witch, because I will never forget that episode. I remember, um, seeing that warning and saying, hey, this ain't gonna be like, you know, your, the other episodes that you see beforehand. This about to get dark and this about to get bad. And it, and it did. It really got dark. But I really enjoyed it for that episode. I think that's like my third or fourth favorite episode in that, oh, excuse me, in that show overall. But yeah, as I was saying, when it does get cold, because we are getting there for here in Florida. Yes, a girl will be wearing a mask to protect herself from the common cold and anything else because you never truly know. And I, like I said, for Falma, I, I hope this goes, goes well for him. I hope this mission is successful. I hope nothing bad happens to him. Ellen, you know, it, there's a lot riding on this. That's the thing. And, you know, yes, of course, I have the right to be scared and worried because he's such a precious baby boy that I want to protect. But at the same time, it's like, he knows what he has to do to get through this. It's just about getting it done and praying excuse me, that everything is successful in the end. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Parallel World Pharmacy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all on Sunday for episode 10. Bye guys!